Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Graham O'Brien figure. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the box, it has the same blister pack packaging style from the Recon Dalek, so I'm not going into as much detail. The Doctor Who logo is shown at the top, with Graham O'Brien action figure at the bottom. It also states that there's four different figures to collect. A large window allows a clear view of Graham and his non-existent accessories. The right side has the same picture as seen on the box for the 13th Doctor TARDIS, but cut down to show one door as the box isn't as wide as the Dalek or TARDIS. And lastly, the box shows off the rest of the figure wave as well as the TARDIS and Sonic screwdriver. That's enough about the box, let's take a look at Graham. So here he is, Graham O'Brien, and I have to say, it looks a lot better than I thought it would. When I first showed this figure, it looked way too young, but the pictures didn't do it any justice. The hair has some really nice detail present, as strands of hair can be seen, they even added a slight silver wash making his hair look slightly grey. The head sculpt is excellent and really captures Bradley Walsh, wrinkles can be seen on the forehead and under the eyes. The eyebrows, eyes and mouth are really sharp and add a great level of depth to the face. The body is actually taken from a primeval figure, specifically Stephen Hart, with the only differences being the head, hands and the colour. I'm normally against reusing old body sculpts, but this one works perfectly. It looks so much like his outfit from Arachnids in the UK. Graham is sporting a navy blue jacket with dark blue trousers and dark brown boots. The detail on the clothing is brilliant with the added creases and folds of the jacket on his back to the pockets, zipper and buttons on the front. The arms feature more creases and folds with the pocket at the top which leads down to the cuff of the jacket. The hands are moulded very well with indents representing the nails. The trousers feature more folding and creasing effect which leads down to the dark brown boots which feature some laces and a silver border going around the boot, with the bottom of the boots featuring legal stuff. Turning to articulation, Graham can turn his head 360 degrees but is slightly hindered by the collar. 360 degrees on the shoulder with another 360 degree twist at the top of the arm, 90 degree bend on the elbow and another 360 degree twist on the wrist. There is a 360 degree twist on the waist. The legs can kick out around 45 degrees and can move out to the sides allowing him to do the splits. There's a 360 degree twist at the top of the leg and a final 90 degree bend at the knee. So some really good articulation for the figure. In the size comparison you can see it fits in really well with the Dalek, TARDIS and the 2018 13th Doctor. So overall, what do I think to this figure? I'm actually really impressed with it. Yes it uses the old body from Stephen Hart but it works really well from his outfit from Arachnids in the UK. It's got lots of articulation available and the head sculpt really captures Bradley Walsh. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, then also subscribe to not miss any more figure reviews as well as the Doctor Who fan series that is currently in production. Thank you all so much for watching and until we meet again, goodbye.